Mr. Chair, I will start from the issue of the slashing of the budget. Magkano po yung nawala talaga, Mr. Chair? Nawawala po ang pondo pagdating sa Baikam. Pag-akit po sa Senado, nawawala. Rinecommend ang pagtapyas ng 8 bilyon dahil nga daw mababa yung utilization rate and ini-align ito sa mga ibang programa. Sa madaling salita po, uh, yun po ang nakalagay sa press statement. Uh, ni Senator Marcos po kasi siya po yung naging sponsor ng budget ng DSWD. Magkano po yung nawala talaga, Mr. Chair? Sa uh, budget niyo. Mr. Chair, uh, in the table number... Uh, which year, Mr. Chair? Uh, 2023-2024? Yes. Uh, 2023, 13 billion. 2024, 6.5 billion. And, and would you have an idea as to <coughs> why this is lasting of your budget? Um, Mr. Chair, ang assumption ko, if you look at that earlier trend kasi, the department really had underutilized amounts nung 2020, 2021, 2022. And kung titignan nyo yung corresponding slash, parang magkatugma halos yung hindi namin ginamit at yung tinatanggal. I can only assume. Maybe your assumption, Mr. Secretary, is correct because it jibe with the numbers. Comes close. But uh, even if that is correct, and considering that your budget uh, tries to adjust, uh, tries to address particularly the PPP beneficiary, uh, the, the poor peace beneficiaries. D did you bother to inquire as to why this is last were made in the first place? Uh, we we wrote a reiteration of what is slash and justified why it should not be so for both houses. And and what answer did you get? Uh, we did not get any. Uh, unfortunately, we did not get any. But we weren't expecting rain because it was a quite more of asking. And also, did you ask who was responsible in this last year budget? Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, we wrote that letter prior to the release of the GAA because we were lobbying in both houses na wag mabawasan. Because the last time we checked, I think uh, the House of Representatives has nothing to do with this. And after the BICAM, some miracles were performed. Uh, uh, Mr. Chair, that is what it seems from this earlier part of this briefing. I, I, I'm not a usual uh, participant in a BICAM. I, I believe I participated in one BICAM only. And I got frustrated. It's boring. Pag nandun ka, hindi mo alam kung ano nangyayari, uh, Mr. Secretary. Andiyan ang contingent ng Senate, andiyan ang contingent ng House, but there are only two people talking together, isolated from the rest of us. So, ang, ang gusto ko lang itanong sa inyo, kung sino man yung responsible ng pagkakatanggal ng budget ninyo, alam naman nila na merong target people, beneficiaries, more particularly yung poor peace. Did they underestimate your judgment or your capacity to put some numbers to address the needs of the poor peace beneficiaries? M Mr. Chair, I think the, uh, I can only assume again that at the time of the hearing, even in both hearings, mababa talaga yung utilization namin. Nasa 30%, uh, 17%, because yeah, we were cleaning the list. And, but we kept on repeating, and the minutes will bear me out in both, on all the budget hearings, that I kept on assuring our policymakers na marireach namin yung full disbursement because talagang we had a dedicated team doing the listing, the clearing. So we were very confident. I but believe you, Mr. Secretary, as a matter of fact, when, when you were appointed the secretary of DSWD, I thought that that was the best decision the president ever made. Thank you. <laughs> Ngayon, ang tanong, ang tanong, ikaw na yung nandun eh. Okay, palagay mong 
Wala na tayong sisisihin kung ano man yung mga nakaraan, di ba? Merong... Siguro, hindi naman sinasadya yun. Talagang ganun. Nagka-problema yung iba. So, nagkaroon ng underutilization. But will you, will you utilize that particular issue only para tanggalin mo yung budget? Especially now na merong itinalagang secretary who is sure is serious enough to do his job and to address the problems Mr. as he see fit. Mr. Chair, I have to give credit where credit is due and not because Congressman Tulfo is here. He started the cleaning of the list. Yes, I, 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 so I know that also. He, during his time, there was an honest-to-goodness effort to yes. clean the list. And they should have... Well, uh, we were hoping that the policymakers saw that effort Sineryoso talaga yung paglilinis ng listahan. And, and considering that there was already a serious effort going to this direction, like for example, uh, Secretary, now Congressman Tulfo, did his best also until you succeeded him. Bakit naman uh, dahil lang sa perceived utiliz low utilization ng budget ay inislas yung ganito kalaking pera? Did they, kaya ko tinatanong, Are they questioning the integrity of the numbers? Kasi buhay itong mga ito eh. Palagay na natin talaga, merong underutilization. But are they, are they supposed to correct a mistake by another mistake, Mr. Secretary? Well, sana hindi ho. Because like we said, we gave the assurance. And uh, during budget season, babalikan ko naman, babalik ko ulit ako dito eh. Yeah. At matatanong ako ulit na, o oh, bakit yung pinangako mo hindi pa rin nangyari? Kaya yeah. pinanindigan talaga namin na isuloy yung paglilinis at seryosohin yung paglilinis. Uh, we were probably hoping that uh, they gave us the chance to show full utilization. Total, at the end of the day, babalik at babalik kami sa Kongreso to ask for money. At makikita nyo ulit kung noong 2023, hindi namin na-utilize. Then, walang credibility yung hiningi namin na leeway. 400 or 800 thousand households equivalent to some for something million uh, poor peace beneficiaries yung poor peace ppp pantawid pamilyang pilipino program talagang tawid lang eh so with this talagang itatawid mo lang eh. you are not even sure how far you were able to tawid him baka naman Baka nandun pa rin siya ng edge, di pa siya nakakalayo eh. Pagkatapos, eh, biglang tinanggal itong 8 or 9 billion pesos. What is the quality of the tawid system now? Are, are, you, are, you, uh, uh, are you not bothered that some of those people na naitawid mo na, baka sakasakaling isa-isa nang bumabalik doon sa pinanggalingan nila? Mr. Chairman, I'm very bothered by that. We are very, very bothered by that. And that's why we, for the record, and I guess it's subject to another hearing, and uh, that's why we will welcome the Near Poor program, the ACA program. Because that's really meant as a crutch for the Near Poor. I'd like to think that when you're non-poor here, you're not so much poor, you're just barely making it in that poverty threshold. And uh, one shock, maybe you'll come back again to the bottom. So, uh, That's a separate topic altogether, but bothered, definitely very bothered. Yun nga, Mr. Chair, Mr. Secretary, ganun kabuway yung foundation ng program na ito eh. Konting galaw mo lang ito, baka bumagsak siya uli. So, dapat sana kung sino man yung responsible sa gumawa nito, inisip niyang mabuti ito eh. These are 4 million Filipinos who are supposed to be underprivileged na kung kinakailangan, supportahan talaga. Ngayon, Maring sinasadya niya, maring hindi. Mr. Chair, paano ba natin malalaman kung sino yung responsible dito? Uh, anyway, uh, that, that query was directed uh, a while ago to Sec. Uh, Rex Gachalian, but of course he cannot answer it because uh, he's, he's not part of the, of the BICAM. But of course, uh, uh, Congressman Abalos manifested uh, based on uh, press report that it was uh, the good Senator Amy Marcos that proposed to slash the budget for $8 billion. And it is, all, it is on record now in this uh, committee uh, through the manifestation made by, uh, by Congressman Abalos. No, but in fairness to Senator Amy Marcos, Mr. Chair, we cannot make any judgment based on, 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 on uh, 
on press reports. No? Siguro, ang pwede natin gawin, let's, let's make an official inquiry. Paano nangyari yan? Because, uh, the good secretary might know that my party list is SAKIP. SAKIP is social amelioration and genuine intervention on poverty because the sector of this representation is the urban poor. Malaking, malaki ang, uh, ang, ang stake ko naman dito sa pagka sector ito eh, na aking ginagalawan dito. For the, for the longest time, I've been representing this. Bakit naman, uh, bakit naman nagkaganon? There might, there should be a reason. Malaking ano ito eh. Malaking problema to, Mr. Chair. Hindi naman basta naisip niya lang, napanaginip niya lang, napanaginip pa niya, biglang tatanggalin ito. Simply because there was under underutilization here and there. Siguro kung pinag-uusapan natin dito, our projects, DPW, wala namang buhay na pinag-uusapan doon eh. Unless hospital ang pinag-uusapan sa ibang. Pero ito kasi, pang eh, sa mga taong, itatawid mo lang eh. Dapat palakasin mo talaga yung, uh, kumbaga sa ano, dapat may mga riprap ka dito para hindi sila bumagsak. Tapos inalisan mo kagad ng ganito karami. This is a very serious issue, Mr. Chair. Sana we, sh we should have a formal inquiry. Sino yung responsible from here? Nasaan ay pagkatapos ng magbaykam na wala bigla? Let us, let us do everything possible. Not only probably to identify who is or are responsible but maybe better, yung may balik sana natin ito. I hope it is not too late, Mr. Secretary. Uh, Mr. Chair, we appreciate the uh, effort of this chamber to help us cope with this deficit. And we will cooperate with whatever data will be asked from us, as earlier said. We will churn out all the data and send it to the committee. Yes, nakakaawa ang departamento mo, Sega. How are you coping with this, uh, with this problem? Well, uh, etong 9 billion, a big chunk of that will come to a uh, four netong first semester. First semester, kasi nag submit na ng compliance. Eh. So, one, we are now expecting a barrage of uh, grievances. Na kompleto na kami, bakit hindi pa kami na babayaran. But more than anything, ang worry namin is the credibility of the program. Once a program is destroyed sa utak ng isang tao na hindi sa maaasahan, then ang worry namin, it might take time to recoup the reputational damage to the program. Uh, so we are working against time. That's why nung sa slide sa January pa lang, nagpunta na kami sa DBM. I spoke to Sec Nina. We're trying to find a solution even before the train hits us. You are correct, Mr. Secretary. Nabuti na lang, hindi umandar yung papanood natin. Alam ko sasabihin nun siguro kahit di pa natin narinig. Baka wala na siyang tiwala sa program eh. Kapag yung tao kasi nawala ang tiwala sa program, medyo mahihirapan na tayo. Kapag ang tao tiwala sa program, kahit naghihirap tayo, kayang-kaya mong ilaban yun eh. Because people still believe in the program. Di ba, Mr. Secretary? You're right, Mr. Chairman. Uh, in fact, the, uh, I keep on pointing to them na sa likod ni Sec Kimbo, yung SNPP, they're a group that represents NCR base, no? Or Greater Metro Manila base, uh, nationwide beneficiaries. Um, dahil kami nag-uusap, in fact, we have arguments kung bakit ma-exit. But at the end of the day, we always leave the room saying that we'll keep on studying. They're part of the group that pointed out the moratorium. They're part of the group that also pointed out the delays. Yung unseen na tawagin namin, yun know, wala na lang bigla. Dahil sa kanila rin yun. And ang uh, worry ko, alam rin nila to, na tutulig sa in rin sila as the officers kung bakit hindi nabayaran o pinangako na may moratorium, pinangako na nabalik, pinangako na mag-submit, babayaran. So, Worried rin kami, pare-parehas. Kasi nag-submit na ng compliance, doon ako na, I'm a bit worried with that. Kung ang tao nag-submit, ibig sabihin, done na siya sa assignment niya, our assignment is to credit it to their accounts. And alam niyo ng SNPP, we've had numerous meetings on the moratorium, on the targeting, on the uh, retroactive payment, pati yung unseen na tawagin namin, yung nawala, pinag-usapan namin yan extensively. We, we fully sympathize with your predicament, Mr. Secretary. And if anything that you can suggest that this committee will do, please suggest. We will, Mr. Chairman. We'll uh, collate ways forward also that uh, maybe the uh, committee can consider as a means to move forward.
uh, paglilinaw lang. Um, so, as a result of this cut, this budget cut, um, sir, linawin niyo lang sa amin once and for all. Ano ba yung effect, di ba? So, um, meron pang natanggal sa listahan, ilan ba yan? Or number two, um, wala naman natanggal, pero nagkaroon ng delay in payment. Kung meron man, ila, ilan ba yan ang uh, nagkaroon ng delay in payment at uh, ilang buwan ang delay in payment? So, para lang maging maliwanag kasi parang ang dami kasing words na, na, na nababanggit kasi baka mamaya ang naiisip ng mga tao na as a result of the cut, yung dating nakalista hindi na nakalista ngayon, which I don't think is the case. But anyway, yun na lang po, para lang um, maging ma maliwanag po yung uh, flow of discussion po. Mr. Chair, uh, it's a very good question. Yung mga hindi kasama sa problematic accounts, yung hindi na delist nung una, tuloy-tuloy hong tumatanggap yun. Uh, sa katunayan, natanggap na nila yung P5, yung P6 on schedule na matanggap nila. Ang nagiging affected accounts here are yung original na nadilis na binalik natin, yung mga unseen na hinahanap natin, yung bigla na lang nawala. Yung retroactive na pinangako natin sa kanila ang naapektuhan. Bagamat portion noon na bayaran na nung Disyembre, dahil nga meron pa rin mga unpaid na 9 billion, yan yung maapektuhan. Uh, Mr. Chair, we will gladly enter into the committee records the actual uh, breakdown of the 9 billion, but in top line na data, 839,000 of varying types of grants. My health grant, my rice, my education. We'll gladly and, uh, submit this. I have it with me. But again, rough top line. And I shouldn't be doing this, but just to give you a broad idea, 839,463 are affected. Will be affected. Kasi kakasubmit lang yan, nasa amin na, sabi ko nga, first semester, lili, uh, mababayaran na dapat retroactively as we all agreed during your pl our plenary hearing here. So, yan yung maapektuhan. Of existing beneficiaries, correct? Of those that we returned, of those that we are still trying to locate already, and hopefully, yung malolocate pa. Thank you. We shall await the report, Mr. Chair. Thank you.